Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. I'm your host, Mike the Wandering Duke, and joining me tonight, as always, is my friend and co-host, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Well, you know. <laughs> Mike, it's been, it's been a time over on this side of the pond. It's been a time. Um, it's been a time. Yeah. The wife's got COVID. Ooh. The, every, yeah. It's just things, things. It's been a rough, like, two months, sort of, <laughs> like, like, family stuff, health stuff, personal stuff. It's been tricky. Yeah. So these Mondays are a joyful respite that I am eternally grateful for. So thank you, brother. They are. Thank you, too. This is, this is badly needed. Mm -hmm. um, and cheaper than drugs. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh. It says you can't do both. <laughs> but it's still got the highs and lows of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We're playing. Unexpected, unexpected that <laughs> comment. We're playing the Drowned Ruins uh, because we just are. Uh, Daniel. Yeah. What's your deck called? Well, back in the day, we've been playing this game together for a long time, Mike. And yeah. I often am criticized for bringing decks that don't really help much in the questing phase of the game. Right. So in a moment of outrage and peak, I uh, I made a deck low some years ago called I Can Quest, bitches, and that's this one. Nice. Nice. It I is Arwen, that. Aragorn Leadership, and Glorfindel. Cool. Yeah. I am experimenting with decks. Maybe one of them will eventually make it to Con of the Rings. We'll see. Mm. This is first draft of a Dunedine deck. We'll call it Dun Dunedam. And uh, Dunedam. I don't know. At, at first glance, I'm like, I, I like it, but I need card draw, so maybe I need to throw in Baragor as another Dunedin. Anyways, it's got uh, Halberad mm. because Halberad, uh, not exhausting to quest, combos well with Gilran. And. Yeah. Admittedly, the Gilrean's boost on a Marthial is not so hot, but we have Aragorn on the table. Look at that! And do so, I have to give it to some? No, I can do it to up to two other Dunedain heroes. Doesn't matter. Dunedain who heroes. Them. So now, when you render Gilrean a spirit hero to zero willpower, that's correct. What what does she do for us then? Defend a little bit, maybe, or well, there is an attachment in here that says mm. if you have a printed willpower of at least two, you can get a something, something. get plus two defense. So oh, I okay. ideally she'd be an awesome defender, right. but okay. see what I mean about the card draw? Yeah. Yep. Did you not take thirty seven mulligans like I did? Oh, I could have done that. I did get air of Valendil <laughs> in this hand. That's um Yeah. So you're giving Aragorn the other two, correct? I will give Aragorn and Helper at the two. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, and Marthiel's so there because of Marthiel's awesome free okay, tactics. You want enemies? Tactics. Yeah. I'll defend him. We're good. I mean, I want some enemies. This is why we're not playing mm -hmm. Eden Wars. All right. Good, good. But what are we playing, Mike? Okay, the Drowned Ruins. We're, mm. uh, what, we're in search of, is this where we find the sword? It's been a long time since I played this one. Yeah, mid story, we have befriended some pirates who definitely will not betray us. Mm -mm. And X marks the spot. We are in the grotto. We're, st we're yeah. still flushing our friendship with them for like the boat attack that we had to join forces, right? That's right. Is that right? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So. Where is the story, Mike? In the sunken ruins of the temple, you find a grotto leading deep below the sea level. Much of the grotto is submerged underwater. Oh. Add the top two locations from the grotto deck to the staging area. Grotto side face up. The first player takes control of Sahir and the last player of Nasia. Now, are they going to be flipping between us all the time? They are, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. And okay, so the first one says, while well, this is the active location, reduce the cost of the first ally played by the players each round by one. Well, that's good. 
but after you travel to the undersea grotto, you may f you may flip it to its underwater side. So hmm. the underwater sides usually have a buttload of quest points to get through, like 12. And if they're still there at the end of the round, really, really bad things happen. Well, then why would we ever flip it to that? I have no idea. So Cursed Caverns. <laughs> After you travel, you may flip it underwater. After players explore, Cursed Caverns is the active location. Each player may raise his threat by two to draw the bottom card of his deck. Oh, it's one of those decks. Or quests. Huh. Okay. The one where they, okay. they mill the bottom of your deck. Oh, good. Cool. All right. So huh. we flip this. While an underwater location is the active location, players cannot play attachments or allies. After a double-sided location is explored, add the top location from the grotto deck to the staging area. Okay, so there's always going to be two. You okay. cannot advance unless there's three uh -huh. underwater locations. That's why. There you go. Okay. Okay. So we can't play allies or attachments if it's underwater. Okay. But it would only be... All right, so... So you build up and then get... Underwater immediately... Undersea. Mm -hmm. Undersea. I see. Wait. They both say you may. After, they all, they all say after you travel, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yikes. Okay. Shall we go a new round? I'm going to give this a shuffle. Shuffle. Oh, what do we do? Shift end, right? It is shift okay, end. There it is. All right. Ooh. Okay. I mean, supposedly. There we go. Oh, that's a thing. Oh my! I really like what this. Yeah, I really like up. your hand. No, I like your hand. Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> that's what thirty-seven mulligans can do, son. Oh man, I should have known. Okay, let's get the uh, air of Valendil out here. Do let's. Uh... An interesting point, if Gilrayan dies, everyone still retains their stat boost because it's until the end of the game. Oh, how nice. Just love that art on her. It's yep. fantastic. Uh, yeah. I like this game where all the heroes, regardless of gender, wear clothes, unlike some other games that we play. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Appreciate the art in this. Um, But yeah, she's cool, but she reminds me of an actress. She reminds me of someone. I wonder if it's from Game of Thrones or something. Yeah, maybe. It does have that vibe to it. It has that vibe, yeah. Anyways, that is me. That's you done? All right. Well, I'll spend a dollar off Glorfindel to give him his usual. I mean, who doesn't want that? Suckers, that's um, me. Then I'm going to pitch Elven Light to give Aragorn a dollar. And... I'm going to stop right there, Mike. Cool. Sounds good. Actually, will I stop right there? Or should I return cool. Elven Light already? You know what? I will. I'll do that and draw a card if that's right with you. Oh. Oh. Didn't quite come out in the right order, but that's okay. Yeah. All right. I am set. Okay, quest phase. Okay, I'm go gonna ahead. send a whole four. Four, huh? I will send three, seven, ten, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Daniel, can you handle the encounter deck? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ready myself. Just in case. Do you applaud that decision? Oh of course. Always. Or wait a minute. Do you have a defender set up? Uh, kind of. I have weak defenders. I actually, awesome. I'm actually not going to bring Aragorn right now. But don't worry. I'm sure there's no, it's not going to be bad. Yeah, of course. It'll be great. Okay. How many times can you do Elven Light? Just kind of once, right? What do you mean? Like, it's not a once per phase or per turn thing, right? It's just, if you got money, you can... If you got money, is it long? And you have ways or to... Or a discard. thing to discard. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. You ready for your card? I am. You got yourself a little Curse of the Downfallen. Deal damage to each non-objective ally with printed cost to... Oh, that's a good time to get this, huh? Whew. 
it does not even surge of nothing. Okay, wow. so that exists. That's All right. Thing to so know. <laughs> what, the reason it does that is because of the enemies. They discard the bottom card of your deck, and if the cost right. is two or less, bad things happen. So, very yep. cool. We know that exists. Right. Don't bring your okay. elves. <clears throat> and I've got me a little drowned dead. Oh boy. And it attacks and destroys an ally. Place it in the bottom of the owner's deck. Okay, I see a theme. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's unfortunate so that we got it. something so big right away. You made seven. And I don't have my defender up. Is hey. that big? Well, kind of big. hitting for fours a little bit. Yeah. At the moment. I feel you. Okay. Though I don't really like Sahir. Okay. <laughs> uh, Trowel. Um, I say we go to the Grotto. Okay with Grotto. Or what about the caverns? I'm not sure I want to do that threat thing. We may. Oh, yeah. We may, and it's pulling out three threat. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Okay. And I will flip it. Oh, no, no, Ooh, you don't, flip. don't flip it. Never flip it. No, no, you don't flip it. <laughs> yeah, it says you may flip it to its underwater side. Don't flip it. But we need to get underwater side in things. We'll never get out. I didn't see the end of it. I'm telling you, we will not get out because we can't play allies. And uh, unless you want to oh, see how I fast see the game yeah, will go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You basically gotcha. get stuck at that location until you... No, you're that. right. I forgot. I forgot about the... And it's going to be something like everyone takes two damage at the end of the turn or everyone raises their threat by five at the end of each race. Okay. It's okay. ludicrous. Gotcha. Gotcha. All so right. at least have something on the table before you jump to those. All right. This is why they hate your allies then, I guess, huh? All right. Partially, yeah. Okay, I'll take okay. the uh, the drone dead because it makes me special. It does. Oh my god, you're so special. Okay, mm I'm gonna use her ability to turn an enemy card face up. Shadow card. Okay. I thought I'm running this. Sorry, you are. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give hit an additional shadow card to draw one card. Okay. I'm <gasps> sure. Gift of foresight. Gift of foresight. Okay, cool. Uh, Marthiel's gonna defend. There you go, Marty. Discard an attachment you control. Oh, Aww. man. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty bad one. That's there goes a... your economy. That, yeah, there goes my economy. Was it worth the card you got? Uh, this card I got was better in the long run. Although losing a round's worth of resources off right. these guys was pretty bad. Dude, I really like her action. That's really cool. Yeah. Like, you, you flip it and you're like, forward. well... It doesn't. This one doesn't harm you. You can just leave it at that, right? Like, be like, I know I'm gonna win it. Yep. Right. And then that. Oh, but the okay. seduction of draw, Mike. I'm putting in a couple copies of Freeland Protector. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I. Uh... Well, I do have Hasty Stroke in this deck. Just that is really risk reward. Good okay. to know. All right. That's that's what it is. Uh, sh Whatever. Shift in. Uh, Are you heading oh, it back? I have this. Uh, I can't hit it back. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you don't have money to fund Sahir? Yeah, you do. I don't want to. Okay. So we don't ever want him to be useful to us? Well, I, I wanted the money. I'm already behind two resources after that okay. shadow. Yep. Okay, okay, go ahead. Me? You, sir. All right. I will... Oh, this is a lot that I can think about here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do, Mike. We like defenders, right? Yes, we do. Okay, so what if I pitch Elven Light to Arwen? She and Glorfindel are going to play... Oh, I don't like this, though. I don't like this part. Oh. Well, maybe I do. Um... Oh, he doesn't have Sentinel. Hmm. I thought he did. I thought he... There is some Elf Guard that does. Oh, maybe, so, yeah. Yeah, I think... I'm actually going to play... What does the Weaver do? Car, okay. So I'm going to play him. I will pitch the Woodland Courier and the Feigned Voices. But don't worry, Mike. I have a way of getting that back. Sort of. Okay, cool. Then I'll spend all my money 
to give Aragorn a little sword. Ooh. So everyone I have gets plus one. Nice. How cool is that? It's very cool. Um, we need to do that, right? Oh, that's right. We do. Yeah. Now, Sahir then gets plus one willpower for right now. Nice. Very nice. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right. I'm going to put out a remedy. I'm going to put out the gift of foresight. If I have not quested this round, plus two defense. Uh, okay. Do I pay the dollar and give it to Nasia? Yes, I do. <laughs> we're, we're convinced she stays on our side, right? I'm pretty sure she does. Also, okay. I, might, I might need her defense right now. So. All right. I will quest. I will also quest. Um, Mike, do you want me to bring Aragorn? I can't ready him. I've got a defender. I'm going to do it. It gets us out of here pretty fast. Okay. Fans, you might want to note that I just quested for 13. Just Look at you, big spender. Mm hmm All right. Are you ready for cards? Let's do it. My card is a little bit of Into the Abyss. Each player chooses a card type and discards each card in his hand that is not of that type. Okay. I will choose. Oh, shoot. I will choose oh, no. <laughs> Ally and pitch an event. I'm either losing Oof, a tracker. You didn't, make and... your hand, you didn't make your hand visible, by the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're going to love this. Oh. That's a hard, <laughs> hard call. I think you should keep your events. Oh. I those losing those guardians is we'll we'll make up for it we'll make up for it i don't uh, let me check my deck composition here i do have a bunch of stuff that is gonna i just think those require... events are all three of those events are simply key. i know oh my oh that is so rough um i'm not saying it doesn't hurt i'm just saying yeah. It was a little easier for me. All right, what's what's the second one? <laughs> well, the second one, Mike, your card is Ancient Depths. Add the top location of the Grotto deck to the staging area. Oh, are we supposed to... That's when it ex it's explored, right? Explore. Yeah. Okay. All right. Add the top location from the deck to the stage. Flip it to its underwater side. This can't be canceled. Okay. Well, it's the active location. Well, Characters cannot attack. It's the active location oh. at the end of the quest phase. Deal it damage to each character in play. Oof. But it does have victory, too. It does. Five threat right now. But, Mike, we made ten. Love it. Which puts five on the main and gets rid of the Cursed Caverns. Now, that immediately puts a grotto, does it not? It does. Uh, we also get to do that thing on the cat. What do you do with the caverns? Oh, I pitched them. Where do they go? Oh, it must go to the grotto. Where... Oh, the grotto discard. All right, so you see that. Sorry, I forgot what it. Yeah, there it is. Said we, could do. Mm -hmm. we can put the bottom of our card in our hand or something. Uh, you can raise your uh, threat by two to draw the bottom card of your deck. Not going to do it. Okay. I don't even know what it is. All right. We All have right. waterlogged halls. When it's the active location, each undead enemy in play gets minus one threat. Okay. Okay. Are we traveling? Um, well, probably, right? Let's go. Let's go to the dark abyss. Oh, it's underwater. Why is it underwater? Oh, it's the one that flipped. I mean, if we can be absolutely sure we're going to clear it next turn. 
for 12. We hit 10 this turn. What yeah, we'll come close. I think we'll, I think we can do it. Unfortunately, I can't help much. I don't need you much. Um, let's do it. Hey. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. All right. Oof. Oh, I got Elrond's counsel. That helps. Nice. Okay. You're planning, sir. Oh, shut him up. We have an mm. enemy enemy phase, remember? Yes, I already hit shift end. So I'm gonna look at it. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> well, I'm getting now, rid of the dude that I remember. Yeah, I don't have money for it because I had to pay for that. Oh yes. Okay. Now, are you going to get another one to draw a card or no? Yeah, I absolutely will. Well, all right then. Let's see what you got. Oh, sorry. I'm going to defend with Nausea. Okay. We will spend a dollar to get four defense. Okay, so that's a bounce. That's a bounce. There you go. And just to be cheeky, I'm going to send this thing to one hit point. Or do I Love kill it. it? Do I absolutely kill it? I don't know. You kill it, then you lose. I lose the ability to, to quest to without. play tactics cards and quests without. Yeah, yeah let's just uh, deal three damage to it. Sorry, two damage. Two damage. Okay. There it is. I have already shifted. That, that, that's totally not what I wanted. Let's, uh, let's get rid of the attack and put on the damage. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my bad. All right. Cool. You're the first player. I'm not doing anything. Because all I have are events. You're not doing anything? Okay. Maybe so I'll throw a dollar to Nausea. I will spend a dollar off Arwen to get Elven Light into my hand and draw a card. Ooh, test a will. I will pitch it. To give Arwen a dollar for test of will. Then I'll spend one off Glorfindel to play the Galadrim Weaver, which will bring, I believe it shuffles um, yep. Fain Voices into my deck. That's right. So it sort of gets it back, but sort of doesn't. Uh, Mike, I'm going to go on mute for a second. What's up, Lona? I didn't go on mute. Lorna, what's up? Oh, good night, Mia Moore. Are you going to bed? <laughs> okay. You want to say good night to Mike? And the stream. <laughs> and the stream. Oh, and the stream? <laughs> That's my shy daughter. <laughs> you actually need a good night's sleep from your weekend. So, yeah. Good night, Mia Moore. Te amo. Yeah, I also could die. Mm -hmm. All right, we are in the quest phase and we want to get out, yeah? Yep. Okay. Mike, you quest first. I am in for four. You're I, in for four. I guess I could okay. be in for five. Well, hold up a sec. I'm bringing uh, sit here. Um... He's he's got one. I don't think I'm gonna pay him because I need test of will. I need unless I look. We can't attack anyway, right? Can I pay him? No, I can't. Uh, I think you have to control him. Yeah. Oh wait, you control him. I control Nasia. Oh. All right. So is that dollar off of her? Yes. It's okay. on. It's on to here. But she is going to quest. Okay. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. So she's a plus one. Everyone I love is plus one. Okay. So you quested? Yep. Questing. Questing. And I'm not going to ready him. Questing. 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 We're at 19. Okay. We got a buffer Feeling of seven. Feeling that should be good, right? Let's do it. Geronimo. 
And hold. <laughs> I'll play that and lower your threat by three. Uh, you can't. That is only okay. you. Oh, my threat. That's not oh. a shareable threat decrease, unfortunately. All right, well. I appreciate the uh, the offer. Though. Cheers, Bob. I was thinking of you. <clears throat> okay. We're at 20. You ready? Yep. Mike, your card is... Throngs sure. of unfaithful. It surges into ancient depths. Hmm. Okay. Now. Can't be canceled. Uh, well, you're the one with the grotto deck. Okay. This flips because it's underwater. To four. Okay. And we have one more card coming. Wow, we just made it. If Twisting Hollow is the active location at the end of the quest phase, each player must discard one character. <clears throat> that ain't good. Nope. Okay, so we made it through the abyss. By one. So I'll put one on the main. And I will put this in the victory display. Nice. Okay. Mike, are we traveling? What are the odds we do that again? Um, pretty good, probably. But what do we have? We're gonna have pretty much the same staging area at that point. Yeah, let's do it now. You, you're doing the twisting hollow. Twisting hollow. Okay. Let's go for broke. Mike, Mike I will take the throngs. Uh, those. Th uh, the throngs are better with me because if you read their effect, every time you kill them, there's a high chance they'll come back. Oh. So they're really good to be just left alone. I see. Now I'm assuming. Oh, yep. yeah, I give a three. Uh, I'll just slowly die to it. That's all right. I mean, I can take both. No, I, no, no. I have Halberd. Uh. I'm allowed. To. I see no reason to do that. Eventually, Glorfindel will kill this. Because I can. Do, I have two feints, and I could kill one of these guys for sure. No, I'm happy. I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. So I want the extra money. I'm greedy. Wow. I'm greedy. All right. Okay, I'm going to look at the throngs of unfaithful card. Okay. And then give it another shadow to draw a card. Okay. I'm going to... I wish I had Sentinel. Play a couple of those. And oh, target wow. the left and right. The left and right. So what you're not seeing is nothing and your usual attachment hate. Cool. And I will defend the throngs of the unfaithful. Nothing. All right. I'm going to kill the drowned dead. No, I'm not. That's a three defense. I'm not mm. going to do anything. That was silly of me. I thought I could kill something. Apparently not. It's all cool. Oof. It's cool. We got this. <laughs> we got this. I got all my defenders in the garbage. <laughs> all right. Shift in. Uh, shift in. Hey, look. An extra, extra resource. This is cool. Oh, yeah. We're golden. We're golden. Looks like I have to refresh the screen here. I'm going to give you that. Okay. All right. What the heck? Taking that. You're taking that. You're going to give him an extra willpower. There we go. Okay. I drew two cards for some reason. So I will shuffle that back in. Did you just... Wait, am I looking at your hand? Did you just I shuffle was... by Descendants yeah, of Kings weird. back in... <laughs> yep, yep. I don't know why I was looking at your hand, because... You... Whose deck did you put I it was... in? <laughs> well, who knows? No, it should be in your discard pile. Did you mean... Or your deck. I shuffled it back into your deck. Oh, good lord. <laughs> That's a good card. You should bring it back. Uh, yeah, I was kind of banking on it. Um, to get me out of this pickle. 
<laughs> All right, we need to get out of here, right? Uh, yes, we do. So I will spend one from Arwen to draw a card. Don't need a light of Balinor again. But I will pitch Elven Light to give Aragorn a dollar. And that dollar will be three dollars that turns into Galadriel. That's fun. Who is a four quester right now. And I'm going to look at the top five cards of my deck. Would you believe there was not an attachment in there? Except for Light of Balinor, which I don't. Oh, well. Happens. Oh, well, indeed. Um, and then... I think, Mike, I'm going to play another Weaver. Did I mention that I can quest? You totally can quest. Okay. That's me. Okay, cool. Quest away. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got the staging area handled. Quest. Quest. Arwen is actually down one. Um, because that was from Elrond's council. Quest. Stand. Quest. 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 Twenty-three. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Mike, I feel weird doing this. Doesn't it make you feel Mike. powerful? Okay. Mike. What do we got? Cheated. Completely cheated. How? Can't play allies. Oh, that's right. You can't play allies. Or attachments. Attachments I haven't played since we've been here. Um, okay, so my questioning numbers have changed a bit. But I am going to give myself money back. Huh. So this is make looking a little harder. So it changed a bit. Um, I'll quest with the Guardian of Riven, though. I'm just thinking my way through this. You're going to quest with Nasia. Wait, no. She's a good, she's a good defender. And go one, two. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I know she's a good defender, but we gotta get out of here. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Uh, my card is these guys that surge into into the abyss. Each player chooses a card type. Um. Uh, how bad is that? I'll cancel it. Okay, I would have canceled it if you didn't. So, I got the next cancel. And then our last card is these guys. Well, we get through. We get through both things. So, oh, not both things. But we move to the victory display. That's our second card there, Mike. And we've got a whole bunch on here in case it matters. And now i got to put... Now, Mike, I think we should travel to the grotto without flipping it. I agree, because we've got some things to take care we of. Need to, we need to fix some things. So, sadly, I tapped my Guardian Rivendell, who's my boy. That's right. Um, um, but I want to take something off of you. Then take the Sea Scorpion, if possible. I'll take the Throngs of the Unfaithful. Okay. And get myself one of them. <clears throat> oh, nice. All right. Card. I'm going to have a look at the last Throngs of the Unfaithful card. Let's see what it is. Well, hold up. I'm afraid it's my turn. Oh, I guess your action can go whenever, right? Hey, yeah. All right. You found that. Well, good thing it's not underwater. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let this one go undefended. Okay. Okay. Wait, could I have That'll be yours? two. Oh, I could do turn a shadow card dealt to an enemy face up. I could do it to you. Oh, nice. And deal an additional shadow card to draw a card. What a grief move. 
That's oh. awesome. I, I gave Arwen the damage. How, may, how, how nice awesome. is that? All right. Oh, uh, Ranger Cardlan defends the Throngs of the Unfaithful in the middle. In the middle? Okay. Yeah. He gets uh he's a three attack. So plus one. Okay, that's cool. Uh okay. Gilran will defend the drowned dead. The drowned dead is nothing. Four. Four. Okay. Okay. And uh Halbarad's gonna defend the sea, sea scorpion. Discard attachment. This is just freaking brutal. That is a hasty stroke. stroke right there, because that yeah, can't there happen. Okay, and then undefended the... No, no, no. Throngs? Descendants of Kings. Ready, 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 ready. And my Ranger of Cardline will defend the Throngs, which has a plus one. So there's Take three. Damage. All right. You can maybe kill something. I can kill a... I can kill the sea scorpion. The drowned, drowned dead, dead. kind of sucks too. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That kills the dra the drowned dead. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Want to uh, put a little hurt on a throng? I mean, I can, but yeah, let's put hurt on some throng. Oh, okay. All right. The problem is, is neither of our decks have range. They can't really interact with each other. Yeah, if I can get a Fornos Bowman out, I could totally play it if I had my uh, Heirs of Lindum. Okay. <laughs> I'm, you know what I need? I need the Erebor Hammersmith. Or mm. second breakfast. Yeah. Should we shift in? All right, shift in. Okay. What did I get? He, Heirs of Arendil. Dude, that's a good thing in this quest when you put an underwater thing in there. Oh, yeah. Discards it, though, and doesn't put it into the victim's oh. spike, right? Yeah. So there's that, but it's still a nice little thing to have. All right, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, to just you're, discard you're first. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You're first. I'm actually uh, going to keep... I'm not doing anything. In my hand oh, this goes because... back to my deck. Damn. I don't have any tricks this turn. So I'm going to spend a dollar and... Oh, we trade characters again, don't we? Or did you already? Um, no, I, I get some not, here. Okay. Got I'm going to... Are you done? Yeah. Pitch to give Aragorn a dollar. I'm going to... Interesting. I'm going to... Still can't play an ally. But I can... Give Nasia a dollar. Awesome. So I will do that. Okay, we're not really in a super rush here, are we? No. Um, if you're gonna play an ally, it gets its cost reduced by one. Uh, it doesn't because I can't play allies. Oh, oh, I can. Yeah, because they're not in the water. I can get some stuff in the board, can I? Yeah, first one's reduced by one. First one is reduced by one. So why don't I make the first one zero, which is another one of them, which shuffles that in. Uh, that does. I think that one stays out because you'd already accidentally shuffled the other one in when you cheated. Oh, I wonder what I put in. Do you remember what I put in? Yeah, it was an Elrond's first... Council. The first one was a Faint Voices, oh. the second one was an Elrond's right. Council, so you have to pull out a Faint Voices and throw it in your discard. Uh, all right, look at the top uh, 39 cards. There you go. You ready? Thank you for reminding me of that. Okay. Then for three. Well, do we need Galadriel right now? I don't feel like we do. Uh, need I'm her? No. Her, I'm keeping her in my hand. 
No one really needs an attachment. All the things that she's there to get, i.e. the sword that was broken, is already out. So, I think... I think that's me. All right. How do you feel about that? Uh, vulnerable. <laughs> Why is that, son? Uh, just my board state, that's all. Well, this I'm is doing some neat now. things. I, uh... I think I see what it's missing. Okay. I will quest. It's unfortunate that Heirs of Elendil doesn't allow you to do off-sphere allies. I'm questing for 12. I'm in for you 4. You about that? Oh, yeah. We need to make 9, really? Okay. Uh, Mike, your card is... Powerful Undertow. You cannot flip the active location this round. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty bad one. Uh, I think I might cancel that. Okay. You know what the Doom I mean, 3 is? Doom 3 is not that bad, is it? That's all it is, just Doom 3. I'm going to take Doom 3. Yeah, because I'm good with canceling that when it actually comes out. Yeah. That's okay. a board wipe card at the wrong yeah, time. That's tough. Okay. And uh, my card is. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. When you engage, you place each card in your hand with print across two or less in the bottom of your deck. Oh, that hurts you more than me. That hurts me a lot. Yeah. I would lose both my cards, but that's just right. what it is. We are out of the grotto. No problem. Which gets us another grotto. Mm. True. Hey, I recognize that. Okay, so here's All the right. thing. Cadaver can just sit there. Oh, he can. That's, I feel like he should. Indeed. You okay with that? Oh, yeah, definitely okay with that. Okay. Can you take care of your sea scorpion? Like, kill it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you're good. Yes. Without okay. a problem. And I can defend for you if you need. Oh, that's cool. I would probably like it. Okay. Uh, it's not... Yeah. I'm going to have a... Uh, I'm going have a peek at this guy's shadow. Okay. Whew. Glad that's Ooh. not happening. <clears throat> all right, that's all. Uh, okay. My defense is, isn't it? Okay. You're not drawing? No, I'm not. Okay. So he's going to defend and take nothing. Okay. Uh, I'll defend the one on the left. Okay. And you said you have an extra defense? Yep. Nice. Aragorn. Awesome. I believe is a bounce. Okay. Then, the Guardian of Rivendell will defend. It's card at the bottom of my deck. See, now that I'm not prepared for. All right, so how do I get to the bottom of my deck? I think you say, ooh. Uh... Uh, there's no look at the bottom? Apparently there's no look at the bottom. Oh. Okay. No. Huh. There's got to be a way. It's him. What? You have one of those? Yeah. Because I have a Dune a day and another dollar. Okay. Well, yeah. That's discarded. So at least he's not attacking again. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Okay. I unfortunately don't have quite enough to kill this thing, but it's close. Okay. Wish I could help. Uh, Glorfindel and Nasia will take out my spider. 
first Love copy it. around. New round. <clears throat> mm -hmm, indeed. That's my extra money from Marthiel. Now she here actually has his three willpower. Oh, did we forget to travel? Oh, we totally did. I think we should travel and flip and do the thing. Get out of here. I don't remember the grotto being too awful on the other side. I think it's random. There's more than one other on the other side. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, let's go to this uh, one. And, and, and you don't need to play allies anymore? No. Okay, go for it. Oh, okay. crap. <clears throat> so for me, that's a hero. Well, we're out of here. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm in for four. Fret not, but we're not playing allies, right? Nope. Okay. I'm saving a test of will for Undertow. Okay. I'm saving test of will for something else. Um, I will pay a dollar to draw a card. See what we get here. Oh, too bad I can't play her. Yeah. Nate's got, Nate's got to be pretty good. She would have been awesome. <laughs> um, now, I can just pitch a card right out of the... To what? To help us. So, I, so that's good. During the quest phase, I can just heirs of her Arendelle. Oh. Locations if you get in trouble. So I'm not too worried. Yep. Um, but... Aragorn can't ready if he quests, but I think he's going to quest. So, because of Twisting Hollow. Yeah, this. Okay. I'm done planning. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay. Quest. 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 Stand. Quest. 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 Okay. I'm going to need my dudes. 17 progress, eh? I've got some tricks, and I will wait for the end. All right. Okay? Yep. Okay. My card is Drown Dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your card is Curse of the Downfall. Deal damage to each non-objective ally with permanent cost two or less. Nope. Uh, oh, you're canceling that? I'm canceling that. Thank you. That would have been bad. And I'm emptying okay. my hand because I'm going to be engaging the soulless dead. Okay. Um, we make it by one. So I don't need my tricks, Mike. Nice. We go to the victory display. Victory display. Oh my gosh, we, we flipped. Advance. We advance the quest. In the center of the, shrine. Center of the shrine. Oh yeah, this go is ahead. you. This is you. Oh yeah. In the center of the shrine, reverently placed on a large altar chest. As soon as you get close, Sahir knocks one of the heroes over and grabs it. <gasps> what? Hey, mm. Set aside Shroud of Morgoth. The active, active location. location. And that's... Uh... Okay. Grotto side okay. face up. Okay. Captain Zaheer flips to his enemy side, makes an immediate attack against the first player. And then he's gone from the game. That's it? He runs? He runs. Well, he's, he's chasing the sword. He's got the sword, so he's just running away. Oh, okay. So he will he will really hurt this poor guardian Rivendell who never saw it come. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. <laughs> I could have given him another. <laughs> never mind. Okay, and then he leaves forever. And okay. then we each... Search for an undead enemy. All right. Uh, there are more of those throngs around. That strikes me as a four of kind of card, doesn't it? No, there aren't any. Huh. It just feels like there's uh, four because they keep coming back. I will look at the top 23. It adds it to the staging area. 
I will take a soulless cadaver. Okay. Because it can only do it once. Yeah, and it's we don't have to bring it down right now. What do you want? Uh, what are my choices at this point? Drown dead. Or drown dead. Or a drown dead. Fornos Bowman would be awesome right now. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, it has to come down here. The drown deads, that's it. Well, let's flip the quest card here. Oh, yeah. You dive into here, but he swiftly runs to the entrance, laughing at you in. Captain, what about me? Nasia screams angrily. As soon as the entrance is sealed shut, the walls shudder and water begins to leak in rapidly the ceilings and walls. We have to get out of here, the hero shout as the water level starts to rise. While an underwater location is the active location, players cannot play attachments or allies. Well, now here we don't even have to pretend to have underwater except for the shrine. We'll get it at the beginning of the next phase. <laughs> Oof. But right now, it doesn't have it, Mike, so we're free to be us. Oh, so it's forced. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. I'm... There's some drowned deads that are coming down. Yeah, one for sure to me. I, I'm trying to think how I'm going to survive all this. Uh, I will take For one. sure, one of the ways I'm surviving this is this guy. Uh, I'm taking one, Gary. Right? Okay. Man, if I could just kill one of these things. Okay, ready? I'm first player, right? Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Well, I guess I'll have Glorfindel defend. That's what he's best at, right? Yeah. This guy hits for five. Oh. He's alive. <laughs> uh, oh. Man. Uh huh. Well, the okay. good news is we're not underwater. Okay, I'm going to defend against the Thrones of the Unfaithful on the left. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I guess I. Let's see what the uh, Drowned Dead has to offer. Nothing. No, let's leave it at that. I'm just going to defend that one. It's fine. I will... Halbrad will defend the Sea Scorpion. Oh, nice. Okay. And, ooh. Undefended. Of course. Unbelievable. Of course. Okay. <sighs> uh, Alright. That's fine. I'm not attacking back. I'm going to spend $2 and kill the Drowned Dead, and I'm going to kill the Sea Scorpion. Nice. <clears throat> Good, because you're about to get two soulless cadavers. <laughs> yeah. All right. New round. Hey, let's put another Gift of Foresight. And I have the last one in my hand, and it's going to get put at the bottom of my deck. Okay. Oof. All right. That's me. Mike, I feel like we need some stuff. Yeah, like all out. So all out. I'll spend one. Let's pitch that to get Aragorn money. I'll bring it back into my hand and draw Olorian. That's pretty good. I'll spend one. Give Olorian to Glorfindel. Ah. Okay. The next Sylvan ally. Okay. Well then, for one, the Nath guide will come in and say... doesn't matter. Aragorn, then I can save money, right? Aragorn is not... I mean, do you want one of your guys to be the one that doesn't... Oh, it doesn't exhaust a quest? Uh, 
yeah. doesn't strike me as necessary for any of you. No, it's... How no. Brad already does it, right? It would give me a plus one, really. I think this... Is this our last? This is our last. Could be. Um, I'm actually going to give it to Aragorn. I hope you're okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, and I will play Galadriel. Oh, these two are plus one. Go look at the top five. Look at that! Nice. I'll give Arwen her little harp. Okay. Then, Mike, you might think I'm done, but I'm not. I will play one, two, to bring out, yeah, that's right, the handmaiden who reduces your threat by one so those oh. monsters can stay up there. Yay. <clears throat> okay. Then I am done because I have so many tricks to get us out of here to win. Okay. <clears throat> Beginning of the quest phase. We flip the shrine of Morgoth. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Oh, yep. That's not good. Rage step by five. If you stick around here too long, I all think... right, you're questing. Uh, yep, I'm questing. Do I do I quest for for four? Just to make sure we do this. <laughs> <clears throat> A quest. Quest stand. Quest stand. Quest quest quest. Quest, quest, it's 22. Okay. And some tricks. Yeah. Not sure those tricks are going to be enough for us. Well, um, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. I think they okay, will. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You ready? Mike, your card is Into the Abyss. Oh, that's easy. Um, Attachment, ha! Huh. I will choose a vent. Good, good call there. <laughs> so I'll lose those two. All right, that's gone, right? Yeah. But next we have ancient depths. I will. You cannot. Oh, we can't cancel. cancel can we? You cannot. Okay. But we can throw that but. out there, and you could still have your fun. Yep. You're going to flip it to the underwater side. <laughs> but we made 19 anyway. Yeah, we did. But I'm going to have my fun. Can I? Yeah, you, you can raise your threat by 10. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give a, one of these guys plus two. Is that with Children of the Sea? Yep. yep. <clears throat> and then I will yeah, I'll raise my threat. 10 to get rid of that one card. Hot damn. 21 progress. Shrine of Morgoth is in the victor display. And there you have it. There you have it. That was easy. Whew. How do I have 38 cards in my deck still? Oh, this is a... <laughs> 32. <laughs> I can cut this down. Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. That's a fun little quest. Yeah. It's a neat one. I like the mechanic. I don't, I don't remember it being that short. Uh, it depends on... Like, I mean, two, two quest cards out. short. <laughs> yeah. It, the first one can feel like a lot if you if you yeah. didn't bring a, a deck that can quest for a thousand like you did. Yeah. Well, I, I got some bittersweet feelings about this game, Mike. Oh? Because... You know, weird, weirdly, this is one of the older quests, right? When you think about it. It's about middle of the cycle. Mid Midlife of the game, right? This is kind of the last cycle that was fun. <laughs> <For me. laughs> really? Although, was was the Haradrim after this? Haradrim was after this. Okay, that was a good, that was a good cycle. I think it's a sweet but, spot. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, you know, I missed the game, but... I only really missed the nostalgia part of the game, which is around this time in the cycle after. Right. Um, but, you know, playing the other games that we do are 
you cut out there. This, oh, playing the other games that we play, like on Arkham, this game shows its age a little. Yeah, it's it. There's a static quality to it that I don't know. I mean, it, it uses all the same principles of all the other games, counter decks, this, that, and the other. But I don't know. It's an old, it's an older game, o- older, wiser game, Mike. So. Yep, yep. Um, it, it was interesting not having range or sentinel. Off. We had one sentinel on the table, and I'm glad we had and it. Used it once. Um, yep. Yeah, this did not do what I expected it to do, but it was still fun. I have to rethink this. What did you? Well, remember you only saw twelve of your cards. So what were you expecting? Well, I mean, I had in my hand two defenders and Aaron Valendil, and sadly hmm. lost them all in two quest phases. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, the, the high, heavy event-based one could actually be kind of cool if there was enough card draw to keep it going. See, I loved Halberd in this. I absolutely loved it. Getting that, that plus two. Oh, gosh, yeah. It was awesome, and I it's, it's what's tough about this is I want to put Barivor in for access to the lore cards and some card draw, but a Marthiel's economy, he's great economy, he's great tactics as uh, yeah access. I don't, and Gilrean kind of puts this together, right? So so now I'm stuck with the well, how do I draw cards? Okay, I, I, I think your three is I think your three is good. So I draw through Gilrean. <laughs> yeah, once per phase. Oh, once per yeah, phase. Nice. Ooh, so anyone that attacks during the enemy phase, I'll do that too. Ooh, like you could you could have given say here an extra card. <laughs> I could have. Yeah. That is wild. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this. I like your I like the idea of it. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like that's the way to, to bring it all together. It strikes me as it might be a pretty good. Well, I was about to say it's going to be a good solo deck. Maybe not. It's iffy. Yeah, I find it doesn't quite have enough willpower. It's got some yeah, willpower well, cards. When but... Rain does her her thing, you lose more than you can get. Uh, yeah. No, it's. You get well. Because you don't want Marty questing. Like... Yeah, yeah. You basically nope. give her quest power to Halberat at that point. Now, do you have readying effects in this deck? I have the the, the Dunedain, uh, the Sense of Kings that I played. Okay. Yep. And what else did I have in this? Game? Isn't there a horse, a Dunedain horse that can ready people? Uh oh, that you know what? Uh there is a horse. There is some readying horse, I think. Uh. I'm wondering now if that's if Maybe. I overlooked it because it had Aragorn's name on it. Rohirrin? Yeah, it's Rohirrin. It doesn't require Aragorn. Um, but I don't think he's the one I'm thinking of. He lets you, I think, attack first or something, right? Oh, is that what it is? I feel like that's yeah. cool. If that's a good one, there's a, the a thoroughbred good. that, but it's a tactics card, I believe. Yeah, but you have tactics. I do. You could also have a Rohan Warworth. That's funny. I think like, this would be great if I had the um, the the armor destrier, but it doesn't really work because my defender isn't sentinel isn't or leadership. Sentinel or uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe oh. I'll play around with horses. Go more Voltroni. Get myself my own little Galadriel to fetch out toys. There you go. I actually have all the marks in this deck too, with all the the people that bring out marks. Yeah, I'll think about it. I'll toy around. You know, it's tough. It's tough when you don't have weapons. That's the other thing that leadership struggles to have. You know. Yeah. Yeah, they have. Well, they have some, but it's very tied to specific mm-hmm. traits. Yeah, and Marty's got his tactics. So he... The problem is that if you're not an elf, you're low. 
<laughs> that was the other weird thing about this game. It's like, really? They're the only race in Middle Earth that knows how to make a dagger? I've got a sword okay. that gives me money if I kill something big. Yeah, like, that's odd, too. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway, well, thanks, Mike. Oh, sorry. Thank you. What a hoot. Play with you. Yep. Yep. That was good. That's what I needed. All right. You. Folks, we'll be on this kick for a while. And uh, hope you enjoyed that. We're going, we're going back to the olden days. All right. Still don't know what the theme is yet, if there's going to be one. But uh, we will Ooh. catch you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.